The Queensland Photo, 1946 Taken in 1946 in Queensland, Australia by a mother who was taking a picture of her teenage daughter grave. Nobody was in sight at the time, but when the picture was processed the image of a child appeared, apparently sitting on the grave. The mother does not recognize the child, thereby reducing the possibility that it's a double exposure. The SS Watertown Faces, 1924 this famous photo taken in 1924, apparently shows the faces of two recently deceased crewmen appearing in the waves alongside the merchant ship, SS Watertown. Normally I'm not a big fan of faces appearing in grainy photos due to the brain's tendency to make order out of chaos, but this case is different, in that, the faces were seen by numerous members of the crew for several days beforehand and were positively identified as those of two crewmen who suffocated while cleaning out an oil tank, a few days earlier. The Wimp Fire Apparition, 1995 This famous photo of a young girl looking out from a raging fire was taken during a 1995 structure fire, at Wimp Town Hall in Shropshire, England shot from across the street by a local photographer. Nothing unusual was seen at the time, but once the negative was developed, he noticed what appeared to be a young girl standing in the doorway of the burning building. Firemen found the photo so disturbing that they sifted through the ashes afterwards searching for the remains of a body, but found nothing, leaving everyone wondering who the girl may have been. Not surprisingly, there is a bit of local folklore which claims that, a young girl named Jane Germ, accidentally burned the town hall to the ground in 1677 when she dropped a candle, and her ghost has been reputed to haunt Wim Town Hall ever since. Once a firebug, always a firebug I guess. Bachelors Grove Cemetery, 1991. One of those two good-to-be-true photos, this one actually has a pretty good pedigree, because it was shot by a professional paranormal investigator. The picture was taken at the Bachelors Grove Cemetery, in Illinois, by the Ghost Research Society on August 10, 1991. Photographer Mari Huff was using high-speed monochromatic film in the area where their equipment had detected several electromagnetic anomalies, complete in a burial shroud of the era, sitting on a gravestone. Note that parts of her lower legs are appear to be transparent. The Carabari Rock Spirit, 1959 Taken by Reverend R.S. Blonds at Carabari Rock near Alice Springs, Australia in 1959, this famous photo has been around for many years and defies explanation to this day. It wouldn't be difficult to fake this photo with modern photo manipulation softwares, but it would have been nearly impossible to do in 1959. HMS Daedalus Photo, 1919 Another classic and one of the better captures, this photograph from 1919, taken by retired RAF officer, Sir Victor Goddard, shows his squadron from the Royal Navy vessel, HMS Daedalus. Notice the transparent face peering around the man in the upper left corner of the photo. Several men from this squadron identified the face as belonging to mechanic Freddie Jackson, who had been killed two days earlier, when he accidentally walked into a spinning propeller blade. His funeral had taken place earlier that day. Apparently, Freddy didn't want to miss all the fun. Toys R Us, 1978 This shot has one of the best pedigrees among spirit photos because, it was shot under carefully controlled circumstances with numerous witnesses present, making fakery especially difficult. Taken in 1978 at a sunny veil. California Toys R Us store, known for an inordinate amount of paranormal activity, 
The picture was shot by the crew from the TV program That's Incredible. The infrared film image of the young man leaning against the wall was not seen by any of the people present at the time, nor does he appear in the high-speed footage shot from the same vantage point at the same time. There's a story that in 1869 a young man died at the location where the store now stands from an accidentally self-inflicted axe wound, which might explain his unusual clothing. The Lord Comer Mir Photo, 1891. This well-known photo, and perhaps one of the oldest examples of a bona fide spirit photo, was taken in the Comer Mir Abbey Library in 1891 by Sibelle Corbett. The exposure length was approximately one hour, and the figure of a man appears to be sitting in the armchair, located in the foreground. At the time this photograph was being taken, Lord Comer Mir was being buried four miles away, and the house was said to have been locked and empty at the time. Those who knew Lord Comer Mir claimed the figure looks exactly like the man, so we have to wonder if the old gentleman wasn't simply just visiting his old haunt one last time. The Chinnery Photo, 1959 when visiting her mother's grave in 1959, Mrs. Mabel Chinnery decided to finish off the role of film by taking a picture of her husband seated in the car. When the role was developed, a female figure appeared. Sitting in the back seat, Mrs. Chinnery and several family members insist that the female figure is that of her mother, who appears to have taken her customary place in the back seat and is patiently waiting to be driven home. A photographic expert examined the print and declared it to be neither a reflection nor a double exposure. Notice that mom appears to be a pretty solid ghost, with no hint of transparency or light from the rear windows shining through her. Even her glasses appear to reflect light. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall, 1936 Perhaps the most famous of all ghost photos, this highly controversial shot was taken in 1936 by photographers sent by the London magazine Country Living to take some interior shots of Rain and Hall in Norfolk. What's also interesting about this shot is that in contrast to most photos in which the figure is not seen until after the film is developed, the spectral figure of a woman descending the stairway was seen seconds before the shutter was snapped. The negatives on this photo have been scrutinized by literally hundreds of experts who can find no evidence of it being either a hoax or a double exposure, still considered by many to be the best capture ever taken.